Hello everybody, today is a great day. I get access to the beta of Firefly, Adobe Firefly. This is in the features, AI features. Again, still in beta. There's text to image and text effects and more coming soon. Uh, for me, the most important one that I was really wanted to try out is the text, text effects. Now, the main reason for that is because when I'm creating banners, for example, or things for social media, I want the text to actually match the context of the or the theme of the banner and usually it's a very very hard work if you want to create something like that and here in a blink of an eye you just write a prompt at the bottom you can see and it will create uh the text for you now personally i want everything to be inside um uh, photoshop for example so i can incorporate it in my workflow but right now uh it works in uh via browser and as you can see, there are different options. Uh, you can select uh, predefined effects, check them out. You can uh, choose the font, you can change the background color. And of course, the most fun thing, the most creative thing is just using different prompts and see what you're gonna get. And the results are absolutely breathtaking. And basically you can see that it takes a bit of time to generate it. It does it for every single uh, letter uh, that you use. And I'm just writing or dropping pizza, for example. And uh, you, show, you can also provide feedback if you see that something is kind of not correct, so they can maybe try to fine tune things. And look at that. I mean, this is crazy. I mean, the amount of work you need to put into creating something like that is just insane. And you just get it in a just a few seconds. It just, it's just, it's crazy. Now, usually I use, uh, Depends, of course, on what you want to use it for. Uh, basically, for me, it's banners. I want also things to be uh, relatively clear. Uh, so, again, it will be readable. But sometimes I want to get crazy a bit or maybe something incorporated in the video as well. So, this comes really handy. And you can save it as PNG, but once you do, it says you're prompting transparency in AI, Adobe Community uh, committed to uh, promoting transparency around content generated with AI tools like Adobe Firefly and quoted credentials will be included so others can know that it was generated using AI. Uh, just so you know that right now as a beta, uh, we're not allowed to use it for commercial purposes. Uh, but again, it's really fun experimenting with it and again, seeing something like that fits tags uh, is amazing. And by the way, regarding tags, uh, I also tried the text to image uh, it works very well, but again, this is not the main thing because again, I'm using so many things. Of course, I'm going to use it here to provide feedback and check it more in depth. I'm going to do it in a, uh, another video. I'm going to share it with you. But here I'm just trying out and see how things work. And you can see that when I'm writing the prompt, it actually changes the text. It's not like it putting things inside the font itself. It just uses also the outer region and kind of a play with the design in order to match the the prompt so if you thought it's just you know gonna paint over you know the inside the borders of the font no it actually can extend and create some really beautiful and creative uh stuff look at that here it's also had some things around it you can see like if i put water it says something around the text as well like you see here like the bubbles there not just the font itself now here, for example, I want to create something, uh, uh, you know, funny skeleton postures. Uh, see something more complicated, see how he actually deals with it. And it's actually funny <laughs> how they actually position themselves. It's actually, I mean, the fact that it's limited, because, you know, when you try to create something, for example, uh, if you change aspect ra ratio for text to image, you can see a big difference. Here it's very limited to the font, specific uh, font that they're actually using, specific letters. So it's really amazing to see how the AI actually creates things with that limited amount of, you know, uh, shapes, shapes. And it looks incredible. Here, for example, I want to use something uh, like the Eiffel Tower, for example, to see how it's going to incorporate that into the letters. It was okay, it was okay. But, eh. All right, let's see another example. Keep in mind, of course, that if you change the font, right, it might lead to something that looks better. There are different options, by the way, you can see at the bottom and, of course, on the right. So if you play around with different fonts, you might get better results, you know, that actually fits the art. Uh, and yeah, beautiful. 
So yeah, this is my first Y. I'm already very impressed with it. It's absolutely crazy. I mean, the amount of things we are able to increase our pro uh, productivity uh, is going to be mind blowing. I mean, of course, I see in the future we can just one tap and you're going to be have a banner or, or you know, of course, a video or maybe a complete movie. May not, maybe they will be, you know, in the future. But right now, just seeing you know those little things that we kind of uh, usually use. Uh, in social media, uh, in videos, uh, you can really enhance our content by just using this, especially for text, of course, in this example. And I never seen anything like that. This is uh, this is something that uh, I always wanted to do, but it just takes so much work that I always kind of skip it. Sometimes when I need fire or something like that, I can walk around it. But even then, it doesn't look great or impressive, and it takes a lot of time. So most of the time, I actually don't do it. Uh, I'm not doing it. Uh, this is, by the way, if you just want to make a quick look at the text to image. Now, based on my first impression, uh, it looks really good in terms of the results. Uh, there are different ways you can actually change it, of course. You can see on the right side. Uh, for example, uh, the style, color and tone, lighting, composition. And of course, you have uh, the freedom to write your own prompts and do whatever you like. So, for example, just writing all wearing virtual reality glasses. Uh, and again, pretty quickly, we're going to see the results coming in. You should also change the aspect ratio, which has a square, uh, or 3, 4, uh, 3 by 4, 4 by 3, 1, 1, 16 by 9. Uh, you know, the popular aspect ratios are there. All right, so this is just a quick look. I'm going to spend more time with it. Right now, I'm focusing on kind of a, uh, checking out the uh, font option, the, um, the text option, because I'm most excited about that. Uh, but tomorrow I'm going to spend more time with the text to image and see uh, how good it actually is. Again, keep in mind everything you see here is from a beta. Uh, so again, things are subject to change. It's not the final version of this, but already looking very positive. Again, thanks for watching everybody. More coming. If you want to check anything, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you.